Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Friday, happy weigh-in day, happy workshop topic day. I have a little bit of a health slash life update for you. We have lots of good stuff to talk about today. So if you're excited, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It only takes a minute, it's free, and it really helps out my channel. And of course, if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a Friday weigh-in video. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for all three recipe eBooks. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner have been released. They all contain 15 recipes with all plan points included and calories. The fourth and final ebook is coming shortly, so make sure you have the other three before the final one is released. You're also going to find nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you wanna talk with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group, come on over, join us there. We would love to have you, is also down in that description box. So let's jump into how my week was, this health slash life update, the workshop topic, and of course, I'll share the final weigh-in for the month of October. So I hope you had an absolutely fantastic week. I had a great week overall. It's been really busy. Busy with YouTube, busy with real estate, busy with life in general. Like I mentioned, I am going to share a little bit of a life slash health update with you. I don't have all of the details yet. It's nothing to worry about. So I wanna make sure I preface that at this point, it's nothing to be concerned about or to worry about, but I always wanna be honest and transparent. So I'm going to share kind of the beginning stages of where we're at with that. We'll talk about this week's WW workshop topic and share my weigh in. So let me know down in the comments how your week was. This week, like I said, I did well. I tracked my food. There were a couple of days that I struggled with being just extra, extra hungry. And that generally happens to me prior to my cycle, which isn't for about another week. So I don't know where this excessive hunger came from, but I was able to manage it the best that I could. I did jazzercise three days. I'm still sore, still sore from the jazzercise. Doing it back to back like that kills me, but it's the only way for me to really get in a good solid amount of workouts every week. So I do it, I manage, I recover, and it's always beneficial really in the long run anyways. We've been busy getting ready for our little Halloween get together that's actually tonight. So I'm making all this fun Halloween themed food. I will be sharing what I made on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me there, make sure you follow me. That's how you can kind of keep up with me a little bit more day to day. And most likely I'll be posting some pictures in my Facebook group as well. So come over, join us there if you haven't already. But before I jump into my weigh-in for the week, I wanna talk with you guys a little bit about this week's WW workshop topic. This week's topic is the food that you can swap to help keep you full. We've all been told, we've heard that protein and fiber are really important to help keep you a full. So the challenge is, is this next week, take one of the normal things that you eat day to day and swap it out with something higher in fiber. Number one, you have to choose the food that you're going to swap that's higher in fiber. I'm going to share some suggestions with you from WW, or you can create your own if there's a food that you eat pretty regularly that you know maybe has a higher fiber packed alternative. Suggestion number one is to kind of reinvent the traditional PB&J. Skip the jelly and instead mash up a banana or some berries and make a faux jelly for your PB&J. Idea number two is to move over mayo. Spread some avocado or hummus on your wrap instead of mayo. It's a lot more nutrient dense and it's a better choice for a spread. Avocado is so good on a sandwich. I mean, so good. Next up is if you're craving a crunch, choose a better alternative pick popcorn over pretzels. Pretzels have zero nutritional value. Yes, they're crunchy. Yes, they're salty. Yes, they're delicious, but they have zero fiber and zero nutritional value where popcorn packs a pretty good punch of fiber. Next is mix some diced up mushrooms into your hamburger meat when you're making burgers. You can also make burgers directly from black beans or oats or mix those in with your meat. You'll never know the difference. Kind of a funny story for you. I made these mushroom meatballs. The recipe is 
actually on my website and the video is in the vegetarian playlist on my channel. They were delicious, so highly recommend checking out the video, but they were completely vegetarian. There was no meat in these meatballs. It was actually made from mushrooms. My husband had no idea. He loved them, he ate them, he ate the leftovers. So you can make these simple swaps and substitutions. It cuts down on the amount of red meat that you're eating, but also gives you that added punch of fiber. And if your husband or partner is like mine, they'll never know the difference. And lastly is put down your peeler. Keep the skin on your potatoes and your apples, especially apples, to boost its fiber content. Number two is to create a plan to utilize the strategy you picked. So maybe you decided to skip the jelly on your PB and J and you're going to mash up bananas or berries. Make sure you have bananas and berries on hand and really strategize for how you're going to implement that swap. And number three and final is to reflect on it. What did you think of it? Did you notice a huge difference in the old school PB&J versus the more fiber packed PB&J? Is it something you can stick with long term? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Reflect on it and figure out if that's something you want to implement. Honestly, fiber is one thing that most people are not getting enough of. It is recommended that men consume 35 grams of fiber every day and women consume 20 25 grams. I know for me, I track my fiber in the Lose It app to make sure that I'm hitting that 25 grams. There's two different kinds of fiber. There's insoluble fiber and soluble fiber. Insoluble fiber is found in things like non-starchy vegetables and some fruits, things like carrots, broccoli, grapes, and raspberries. And insoluble fiber actually helps to regulate your blood sugar. Soluble fiber is mainly found in things like grains, whole grains, beans, and starchy vegetables like potatoes and things like acorn squash. Soluble fiber is a digestion must have. You must consume soluble fiber to help your body digest your foods properly. Also, soluble fiber can help keep your cholesterol in check. Once you find a good swap to implement more fiber that actually works for you and that you enjoy, try incorporating more and more swaps and eventually you'll be eating your 25 or 30 grams of fiber without even thinking about it. You can find good sources of fiber in bread. So instead of your white bread, choose a whole grain or a fiber filled bread. Making some simple swaps can help help you reach your fiber goal, stay fuller for longer, eat less calories and points, and see the scale move in the right direction. So now let's jump into my weigh-in for the week. So like I mentioned, I had a good week. I got in my exercise. I was extra hungry. So maybe my food choices or some of my food choices weren't the best or the most fiber filled that they could be, but I still had a loss for the fifth week in a row and the fifth week in the month of October. So when I stepped on the scale, I'm down point four. So not bad at all considering I'm still, like I said, pretty sore from my workout and that always it makes my muscles retain a little bit of water and I maybe didn't make as good of food choices as I normally would. I did stay within my calories most days, but I am really, really happy with a fifth loss for the month of October of 0.4. I will go ahead and put here on the screen my total amount of pounds loss in the month of October as well as how much I am down overall. And before I go, I wanted to give you guys that quick little life health update. I've been talking a lot on my channel about eating as much as you can to still lose weight. I've been implementing more calories and upping them periodically to see what that effect has on my body. Well, I've been noticing a few changes in my body that aren't changes that should be happening at the level of calories that I'm at, the weight that I'm currently at, and it caused a little bit of concern for me. So I'm in the process right now of having some testing done, some blood testing, and some other types of medical testing to figure out if there is a bigger issue when it comes to my overall health, losing weight, being a healthy person that I need to take into consideration. So I'm in the very, very, very beginning stages of that. So as it goes on and as results come in and as things develop, I'll definitely share it with you guys. But I wanted to be honest and let you know that that is something that is currently happening. I'm trying to work on my health from the inside out and that requires me to seek a little bit of medical attention. So nothing to worry about, but I wanted to definitely keep you guys in the loop. You're my friends. And I always like to be honest with you and let you know truly what's going on. So on that note, now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know down in the comments how your week was. Did you gain? Did you lose? What do you think of incorporating more fiber? Tell me something good down in the comments. I can't wait to hear from you guys. And as always, if you enjoyed this weigh-in, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. 
and of course subscribe to my channel and hit the bell next to it so you don't miss any videos. Check out that description box down below for the three recipe ebooks, nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook to see my Halloween party food, get day-to-day -day updates on my health, just pretty much everything and anything happens on my Facebook group and over on my Instagram. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy Friday, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye!